he passed a fitness test on a hamstring strain, so he makes his 150th league appearance for the club in an unchanged Wednesday lineup. And with David Hurst making his 200th league appearance for them and his 25th birthday on Monday, it's a weekend of landmarks at Hillsborough, which number eight Chris Waddle would love to add to. He's still looking for his first goal in the Premier League. But if he gets it today, it won't be past Nigel Spink because the Villa goalkeeper is injured and Australian Mark Bosnich deputises. Number four, Neil Cox, also starts a Premier League match for the first time. And with Ray Houghton injured against Ipswich in midweek, there's a recall at number seven for last season's top scorer, Dwight York. Robbie Hart of Darlington is today's referee. Is that Ron Atkinson's decided that Carton Palmer is such a powerful presence in Sheffield Wednesday's midfield that he wants Barrett to do a man-to-man -man job on him. Now, Bright gets uh, Parks away here. Not a bad cross, McGrath, a good defensive header, but he's won it back, Johnny Harts. And Hurst's coming in, Staunton got his head there, and Bosnich is all over the place for a moment. But he got there eventually, and it was a smile on the face of the big Australian. Only 20, Mark Bosnich, had a short spell at Manchester United, and has played from small behind him. There's the cross, Richardson's in with Warhurst. Oh, and that came back, and it's in! From Dalian Atkinson against his old club and what a good strike I don't think Sheffield Wednesday will be terribly thrilled about the defending but this lad is in such a hot streak Daly and Atkinson that makes it nine in his last 14 games and look at the way he hit that the England goalkeeper had no chance Daly and Atkinson who had a year here under Ron Atkinson before he went to Spain picks up a poorish clearance there from Warhurst but the strike is immaculate and after 20 minutes Aston Villa have the lead thanks to a former Wednesday player Warhurst what's Woods up to here oh it's come back along the line and Sheridan clears Saunders Hurst with small Waddle in support Nielsen Palmer makes a forward run this is Hurst Waddle goes again oh Bright it's 1-1 and Waddle made it possible smiling all over his face for the way he laid it on and Bright was in the right place 27 minutes and Villa are level but Bright is being marked by Cox and he just gets inside the six-yard box to tuck it in as the keeper came out. It's one all, and Mark Bright scores his ninth goal, thanks to Chris Waddle's cross, in 15 games for Sheffield Wednesday. He, too, is in a good run of form, and Waddle, the provider, won't mind the fact that somebody else scored. It's put Sheffield Wednesday back in the match. So Waddle's trying to get there, too. Here's Bright, and this one goes the other side of the post. He scampered there again, though, into the six-yard box to meet the cross from Hurst. And I think the defender gets credit because that surely was a Villa foot that put that behind. Corner. And it's still Dwight York. And Aston Villa should have gone 2-1 up there, really. They had players to spare. Dwight York had a long time to decide what he was going to do Put that in his stride, in fact, it's Dean Saunders. Oh, well, he'd done the hard part, and usually he finishes those so well. And when the ball was played into Dean Saunders, he shook the defender off, but that was about all he could do. This is uh, Anderson. Oh, that's going to tuck in behind uh, Anderson. Parker it is. Barrett. It's Earl Barrett opening it up here. And Woods preventing Barrett from scoring his first. And there's nothing wrong with this team either. This is Richardson with Saunders pulling away far post. Saunders heads it back along the line and hook clear. 
it's Richardson again and Woods held that from Atkinson with his feet behind the line but I think he kept the ball the right side for him Marks again, Bright coming in well he had to take it on the volley And both sets of managers and coaches on their feet again down underneath us <laughs> there's lots of talk about supporters starting to berate managers I think if they sat down it might help that's a thought for uh, Mr Wilkinson's association to ponder anyway here's uh, Parker York oh it's good three in the middle that was also good defending by Roland Nielsen. With three Villa players waiting to come in on the cross, he uh, directed that wisely behind. So Aston Villa will have a corner. Oh, Woods coming to meet uh, Cox on the near post. Small, McGrath. Fox. Oh, it's Atkinson. He fooled Anderson. What a goal! What a goal by Dalian Atkinson. His second of the match, and that's a cracker. As Cox chips the ball in, it's a mistake by Viv Anderson. There's no doubt about that, but talk about how to punish one. Dalian Atkinson, the old Wednesday player scores his second again giving the England goalkeeper no hope 68 minutes now Richie Barker 